Hello guys, this is Natrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p and native PS2. We're going to be doing some frame rate comparisons as well, uh, well testing, and the best settings for uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force Zombie uh, Ninja Pro AM. Yeah, it's a bit of a big title on this game, but anyway, here are the settings. I am using large frame buffer, custom resolution of native 1440p as you see. Bilinear PS2 or bilinear, anisotropic filtering 16 times, mid mapping is off. I'm pretty sure if you have it on full or slow, uh, doesn't full or slow, same thing, sorry, basic or full. I don't think it affects it on this game. I have tested it, it didn't do anything, so I just left it off. Full, safest, and I'm going to be using four times MSAA. Um, and that's pretty much it, there's nothing else. Um, FXAA is on to blur off the edges, it's not demanding though. I'm using MTVU to um, keep a steady 60 frames because this game does target 60 frames. So that is optional, you don't need that on. For this game it runs perfectly fine without it, but with me I'm just going to use it. And I am using 4 times MSAA so the game will be demanding because I'm smoothing off those jaggies that I don't want. Let's have a look at um, what the dimensions are for this game. Now, this game is targeting 640 by 446, which is very close to 480p, like a native 480p, but it's not quite there. It needs to be 480. The 640 is fine, though. But this game almost targets a, a native 480p, but it's um, at this point, it's native PS2, we're going to call it. Now, this is what... Get rid of that. This is what the game is. Um, that should. This is what the game looks like at. Um, what do you call it? Native PS2. As you can see, the anisotropic filtering, like you see that, like that blurry line right there. It is very, very. Um, wow, very visible on native PS2. The hardware couldn't cope back in the day on the PS2, but um, this is what the game looks like at um native PS2. It is blurry. There's lots of shimmering all over the screen, like a lot of the sh um jaggies or aliasing, you could say. Uh, it does look too terribly bad, but then again, if you look at uh, native 1440p, there is a bit of an off-hand glitch that I want to show you. Uh, Offside glitch, whatever you want to call it, uh, is this. As you see, the anisotropic filtering is fine, but the game suffers some sort of weird screen distortion. Some really dodgy black boxes, it's all smudged all over my screen. I actually finished this game with this on my screen. It was in the way, it is annoying, but the game looks a lot cleaner. Um, the game targets 60 frames, my counter's on the top left, and the frame rate, it doesn't barely drop at all. It, I'm, a, I'm even using 4 times MSAA, and the game runs really, really nice. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much Aqua Teen Hunger Force, uh, Zombie Ninja Pro AM. Um, let's have another look at this real quick for um, sub 480 or native PS2. So yeah, it's a lot, I don't know, it's really mixed on what you guys want to do with this game. I don't know any fix. I, there could be a fix for the, that, that screen smudge, um, but I at least at, at this point don't know a, a fix for it. So you're just going to have to be playing the game at, um, at this. Oh, it looks alright now, but it gets worse when you spin around, as you see. Just It's just really annoying. If you know a fix, put it down in the comments uh, so people can probably... Uh, well, so I can figure out what's the fix for it, and also people might want to know in the future on how to fix it if they want to play this game. But this is the best I can get this game to run out so far on the PCS X2. Yeah, this is pretty much Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.